right. we thank you. It's time to bring it on with some of your email questions. So, Pat, this first one comes from Miriam, who says, Dear Pat, my husband did a terrible thing years ago that I didn't know about until two days ago. Someone else discovered it, and for that reason, I want to separate. We have two teenage girls who are close to him. Should I tell them the truth or not? I'm afraid it's going to destroy them for life because they believe in him. He has been a good father and has always been there for them. Please help me. Well, what I'll help you is that I don't know what he did. You won't tell me. Um, did he kill somebody? Was it homosexual? Was, uh, did he cause an abortion? Well, what did he do that was so terrible? Well, whatever it is, God forgives. God will forgive him, and you need to forgive him. It looks like something way in the past. Why would you rip your family up on account of something that took place 20 years ago? That doesn't make any sense at all. So the thing it is, you just say, look, God forgave you, and I'll forgive you. Let's get on with her life. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because right. it would rip up her children's lives. Oh, it'd be, it'd be insane. I mean, yeah. why would you bring out something that took place years and years ago? I mean, it's done. Yeah. This is Rhonda who says, Pat, why do Christian people in the church treat each other so badly? Wow. Plus, there seem to be cliques in the church, but isn't that wrong? Jesus said to love one another. It seems to me I keep seeing Christian women and some men acting ugly and rejecting other men and women in the church. How does one go about trying to change that? The Bible says we're the Lord's sheep, but sheep sure do bite sometimes and they leave a nasty mark. Um, I think your question answers itself. I don't think, why do people act that way? Because they're sinners, and, and yeah. uh, uh, the Bible says the heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. Who could know it? And I, I think our hearts are deceitful and desperately wicked. But we come to the Lord, and the Lord forgives us, and then uh, sanctification is a gradual process of, of becoming more and more like Jesus. And so people in the church haven't gotten more and more like Jesus. Uh, but, uh, you know, why do they act that way? Because they are human beings, sinners, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. That's all the time we That's have for your the, questions okay, today, but those were two good ones. <laughs>